Well, hello, partners. This is your deputy, Mr. Gazillion. Okay. Like the last time I made that voice, I won't keep it up for the whole LP. But yes, it is... No, no, don't be fooled. It's not Boot Hill Heroes, it's Boot Hill Bounties. This is the part two of the Boot Hill Heroes. I think it's supposed to be a trilogy. I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I really enjoyed the first game. In fact, I actually played a DLC for it when I went through it, which is pretty rare. I don't often go through DLCs in my games, only because by the time a game ends, um, I like to move on to a next project. Because there's so many games to cover. But yeah, I had played Boot Hill Heroes back then, and now I plan on uh, playing Boot Hill Bounties. The game is out uh, today, actually. Um, I, well, today for you, but in two days for me. Because you see, the developer, Dave Welch, was very kind to send me a review copy uh, a few, uh, like a couple of weeks ago. Um, I'm in the middle of Battle Chasers Night War, but... Uh, I was really happy to see it, and I'm going to make sure to fit this in the schedule, because I was planning on covering this anyway. So, uh, this is the episode zero. Episode one should come out shortly. Uh, there's not going to be any gameplay in here, so feel free to skip the video. I should, probably should have said that at the beginning of the video. Oops, I do apologize. But yes, so this... Um, will be, it'll become very obvious, but once I start the game, this is a lot like Earthbound. Um, the graphical style, the characters, the sprites... A lot of the humor, uh, I th would say the main inspiration is Earthbound. And then when it comes to story and music and all things like that, um, I would have to say that the inspiration is probably the Man With No Name trilogies. We're talking to Sergei uh, Leon, uh, um, Spaghetti Westerns with Clint Eastwood there. Man With No Name, uh, basically a uh, fistful of dollars for a few dollars more. And the good, the bad, and the ugly, of course. Which apparently were not meant to be a trilogy initially. They were just kind of like lumped together as a trilogy after the fact. But I digress. So, uh, yeah. Um, I think a big part of his engine was revamped for the second part of the game. But for the most part, uh, it, it, it seems to be uh, the, same, uh, the same stuff. Uh, he has portraits for dialogue. It looks a lot cleaner. Um, he added a ton of hats, obviously, and weapons and stuff like that. It's, it's basically a second game uh, with the same engine. I, I respect that. I like that. As an indie developer, I think starting from scratch all the time uh, is a bad idea. I mean, sure, maybe some people complain that assets are reused. I am not one of them. Uh, basically, you're a small studio. He's a one-man team. I, I, I believe he's a one-man team. Could be wrong, but he is. I do believe he's a one-man team, so... You know, if you can make great content and reuse certain assets, hey man, power all the power to you. So, um, yeah, aside from that, um, I do think that I'm going to be able to load my save from the last game, which is pretty wicked. I think you get bonuses out of it. And uh, I don't know what else. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and explore it. So uh, I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.